GDJ 79 series. It's the four cylinder 2.8 motor. We've had it for probably around six months now. So I just wanted to give you a walk through what's been done, where it's at and the products we have and also the companies that have put some product on this car and showcase some things as well. So we'll start by, it's got a 4.2 GVM upgrade by JMAC. Um, it's got their full kit in it. This is still leaf spring rear. So it's got the ride and track in it with a different diff housing. Um, it rides sensational, this car. 70 series, I'm always skeptical about you know suspension and we get to drive so many different variations of cars from all different manufacturers. But honestly, this gear is next level. Not just in the 70 series, but in my 300, it is the best stuff that I've driven with. And that is no word of a lie. They are very, very good. Buffalo did a tray for us, beautiful looking tray. You know, it's color coded. Uh, boxes works really well. The boys there did an awesome job there. We're really happy with it. All sorts, got us some methods for this thing. You know, Roscoe and the team down there do an awesome job. Um, you know, always help us out with wheels and anything we needed. They're a really, really great company to work with. Um, coming over to the rest of the stuff that we've done, we've got Fats Bar on the front. Uh, the boys at Fats did this bar. Um, they also did the side steps on it, so you'll see bush rails there. This bar itself, um, they had this for a little bit of time to design and make it work. I like these bars, they're definitely very robust. They've got a lot of the good angles working. It's color coded, fat speaks for themselves. They do you know, a lot of good stuff there with these cars. So um, hats off to them, that was really cool. Stepping into more the engine bay. So we have fully developed our multi-mapping for this car. So it's on the cruise control. There's heaps of videos on that. Uh, with our systems that we're running at the moment, we're also integrated our easy lock where we're using the second start and the power button to engage low speed and high speed lockup. Unlike the tow mode, like everyone thinks that it does this function, it actually doesn't. So there's more on that as well. We've added our Just Autos heat exchanger, which we've just been through doing some testing on, uh, which works extremely well. The heat exchanger is quite a large volume heat exchanger because these are a water to air intercooler system. So we're adding a larger heat exchanger here. Um, also matching that with our Just Autos airbox. The boys at FFM make that airbox for us. Beautifully made airbox. That airbox is running a 79 series filter. The factory airbox in these cars are very small and they are restrictive. So going to this size panel was a no brainer for us. It's still an easy filter to get access to. Um, it's an easy filter to get from any shop. It's, it's, it works in our favor. So this box works really well. Believe it or not, the design around this was actually a lot more difficult than first looked at. Because of the bonnet with the humps and so forth and the positioning of the guard being so square, there's really little room to work with. So that worked out really, really well. The boys at FATS are going through at the moment making this up an exhaust system as well as a snorkel for this car. So that's coming very shortly, so stay tuned for that. But as of now, this car drives amazing. Really, really happy with it. Um, I think the four cylinders will definitely be a game changer in our industries with the 70 series. I think the more people that drive these cars will realize how good they drive and they are very comparable against the V8, if not better. Anyway, if you want any more information, inquiries about any of this stuff, please contact our guys. And if you want any more information about our multi-mapping, check this video out here and it'll give you all the descriptions to understanding how it works. So yeah.